Folks, one of the greatest things that you can do for your kids is to pour into them and encourage them. And one mom in Dallas, Texas found a way to do this with her, kid, with her kids by making a game out of it. And she's turned it into a beautiful kids book called What I Love About You. Please welcome my guest, Lisa, Lisa Fletcher. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Doing so well, thank you. I have to say, I love your book. And before we get going on this, I want to uh, tell the audience about the special connection be that we have with this book because um, it, it was kind of inspired by uh, a, a man that means a lot to me. Well, I, I had just finished reading the book, The Blessing by Gary Smalley and John Trent. Um, and it talked about the importance of giving our kids the blessing. And so that night I was having a hard time getting my kids to go to sleep because I had just put two young kids to bed, you know, in the same room together and they would fight or play. And I was like, every night it would be like a struggle to get them to go to bed. So I thought, I have an idea, let's play a game. And so I said, do you guys want to know what I loved about you today? So I sat down with each one and I told them what I loved about them that day. And they literally laid there in their beds, looking at the ceiling with grins from ear to ear, contemplating what I loved about them that day. That small little thing made such a big difference. So we ended up playing the game. We still play the game to this day. And my oldest just turned 32. So it's 27 <laughs> years we still play the game. And now I play with my grandchildren. I love so. that. I love that it's still making an impact. And folks, by the way, if you don't know, Gary Smalley is actually my grandfather and uh, wrote this book, um, like Lisa said, over 30 years ago. And so to see it still making an impact today, Lisa, it just, it really warms my heart. And uh, your grandson had this really special moment with you where uh, he is really, I mean, the game is still even impacting him. You said you play it with him. And uh, tell us about that really special moment with him. Well, one afternoon I was babysitting him. He was just three years old. This is just a few months ago. And we were sitting at the table and he says, Grandma, do you know what I love about you? And I said, hang on, I gotta get my phone. I get my phone and I recorded it because I could not believe it that my grandson was now telling me what he loved about me at three years old. And it's so funny because even I have uh, four grandchildren. And so the cousins will say, hey, what do you love about me? So it's funny how, how much they love to hear what people love about them. Well, I love the pages of this book because uh, it's so well written and it's such a wonderful story. Uh, once again, the book is called What I Love About You. And Lisa, uh, talk about the story and talk about the characters of this book. So I started it with my two daughters, but I have four kids and I, we were trying to include all of my kids, but we ended up just taking like a boy and a girl so that you could see a boy and a girl it doesn't have to be, you know, specifically girls or boys or whatever. So we tried to um, use a variety. And um, and then I tried to go through the years to show at the end, it culminates with the, my son now playing it with his baby. And so it's just like um, all the events in the book were actually taken out of our life. They were actually things we said or did. And like the boy hitting the ball off the tee was actually my son. And I baked with my kids a lot. And I tried to show that even though your kid, you can have the hardest day with your children, they can not listen at all, completely chaotic day, but we love our kids' character. We do love our children in spite of their behavior. And that's what I was trying to show in the book is our love is unconditional. It's not based on how they behaved that day or that month or whatever, but we can see past that into their character and see their strengths. And so that's what I was trying to, what I always tried to focus on, it was their character. You've done a beautiful job of putting that in this book. And I think so many people are gonna be so encouraged to be able to uh, uh, reach out. You know, we have a lot of parents and grandparents that watch this show. And so I know that it's gonna make such an impact in their life, as well as their kids or grandkids life. And so Lisa, if we wanna get our hands on this book now, it's sold out right now, uh, but they can go on and they can sign up to be able to get an email notification, right? So they can uh, right. be able to get the book when it comes out again. Right. It'll be available and you can sign up to be on the wait list at goodandtruemedia.com. And it will be available through the publisher again. We're shooting for the end of January. We've already ordered them. So they're supposed to come in end of January. And then we have another large shipment that should be in by Mother's Day. So, and then it should be nationwide, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, 
you know, we're shooting for a nationwide release then. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Yeah. I'm so excited for you, Lisa. Once again, uh, you, the website is goodandtruemedia.com. Lisa, congratulations on this book. So nice to meet you. So much. So nice meeting you. 